He's lost his ministry, his seat on the government benches, and now Gareth Ward is out of parliament. And all those in favour say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The member for Kayama has been suspended until his criminal proceedings are finalised. The opposition supported the motion, but insists the government has bungled this from the outset. You're careering around on one of the most serious matters and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. Absolutely no idea. Police allege Mr Ward indecently assaulted a 17-year-old boy in 2013 and sexually abused a 27-year-old man in 2015. Not long after he was charged, the Premier called on him to resign and, if he didn't, threatened to remove him from Parliament. He didn't seek advice. He just ran, as soon as he was faced with this challenging issue, he ran to the media with a ridiculous proposition. The Premier was ultimately advised against expelling the member for Kayama because that could impact a court case. More legal advice is being sought to stop Mr Ward getting paid now he's been suspended. The actions uh, we've taken this week as a government have been decisive. Uh, we will continue to take decisive action uh, in relation to looking at his salary, his remuneration and his entitlements. There's not much point going to get legal advice. I'll, I'll give it to the acting Premier now. You can't take away his salary unless you legislate. And if that's what you're considering, where's your bill? Mr Ward says he's innocent and late this afternoon released a statement saying he will continue to represent and lobby for my local community as its democratically elected member of parliament. While this motion may look like the government is taking a strong stance, it's far from certain what it actually means. It's unclear what limits are placed on Gareth Ward beyond banning him from parliament and it's left the people in the electorate of Kiama in limbo. There's not always a political solution to a problem. There's a right solution and there is a constitutional solution. And right now, there are many issues to sort through. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.